Hello and welcome to the next video on adding multi-digit numbers with regrouping. So just like the last video, what we're going to do is we're going to count up our groups that we make and once we get to a group of 10, we're going to gather that group of 10, move it on over to the next place value and turn it into one group. Let's get started. Alrighty, focusing on this number here. 46,521, let's take a look at the ones place. We have one group of ones. Over here in the tens place, we have two groups of tens. Boop, boop. How many hundreds do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Thousands, we have six groups of thousands. One, two, three, four, five, six. And ten thousands, we have four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. We just put all we just put this number and represented it over here on our place value chart. Let's move on to this number. Already looking at the ones place, looks like we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Moving on over to the red. How many tens do we have? How many groups of tens? We have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then hopping on over to the hundreds place, we also have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thousands place, three. One, two, three. And last but not least, ten thousands place, we just have one. Awesome, we have all our groups on the chart. We can now add them up. We're gonna add them up. Once we hit a group of 10, I'm gonna circle them and move them on over to one group in the next place value. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome, so all of this is a group of 10. 10 ones equals one group of 10. So I'm gonna switch this on over to right here. And it looks like I used all of my ones. So that means I have nothing left in here. I'm gonna put a zero. Alrighty, here's the tens place. Let's count them up. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Looks like I have one left out over here, so I'm going to put a one. And this whole group of ten, I'm going to gather it and shimmy it on over to the hundreds place because ten groups of tens equals one group of hundreds. There we go. Alrighty, let's count up our hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alrighty, cross that out, and I'm left with one, two, three, four groups of hundreds. This group of ten, I'm going to grab them, bundle them up, and shimmy them on over to the thousands place. And that's because 10 groups of hundreds equals one group of a thousand. So circle, shimmy it on over. Alrighty. Time to count our thousands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Looks like every single one of these I get to circle with nothing left over. 
So I'm going to put a zero, cross this out, shimmy it on over because 10 groups of thousands equals one group of 10,000. And ta-da! Now we can count our last group of 10,000s, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Awesome. Time for our total, 46,521 plus 13,889 equals 60,410. Ta-da! The next slide after this will be another practice problem. Be sure to um, pause the video and when you show your work, I want to see your work just like this, writing out all your groups, circling your groups of 10, and then shimming on over that group over to the next place value. Alrighty, I know you guys can do it and good luck. Alrighty, here is another practice problem. It says, last week, 37,814 students started distance learning in Los Angeles. This week, 23,392 more students started distance learning. How many total students are doing distance learning in Los Angeles? Don't forget to show your work. And once again, it's just a friendly reminder that you will be doing some regrouping. Count up those groups in each column and once you find your bundle of 10, circle them, scratch them out, and shimmy it on over to the column to the left, turning it into one group. Alrighty, I believe in you guys. You can do this.